Going on to you, Aquarius. So you have the Five of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and you, Aquarius, have the Sun card. So immediately what springs to my mind is a lot of you, Aquarius, are just you're just now getting to know someone brand new and you're waiting to get to know them a little, a little bit better, right? You don't necessarily want to start thinking to yourselves that, you know, you've immediately found the right one, but you have met somebody like I was talking about. You have. Um, and you just want to make sure that this person, you know, has all their mental faculties, you know, they're not crazy as hell. And the thing is that the Page of Cups and the King of Swords is about how, yeah, you just don't want to step into this being delusional. You Aquarius want to make sure that you're being patient and you want to actually see who they really are. You don't want to, you don't want to immediately start thinking to yourself that this person is the right one and you jump to conclusions and then this person turns out to not actually be the right one in the first place. So now the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups right here for you Aquarius is about how, well, since that's the case, the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups is about you needing to um, first figure out who this person is and who you are and to see if the two of you are actually compatible, right? When, you know, that's after the fact that you realize that this person is not a total nutcase, <laughs> You, there's still the trouble of making sure that you and this person are really compatible with one another, not just physically, but also having similar value systems. And <clears throat> the thing is, is that the Queen of Swords represents, um, there's definitely a case of you, Aquarius, needing to understand that the last thing that you, Aquarius, want to do is, is to start trying to fit aspects of who they are and trying to make it fit when it actually doesn't fit that's the worst thing that you can do because you start trying you now start pedestalizing the person based upon you thinking about this person as the most ideal person that you could get with as opposed to um really who they actually are Okay, so now the thing is, is that the Hierophant and the Magician right here for you, Aquarius, speaks to how you really just need to listen to your own instincts, listen to what they have to say, watch what it is that they do. Because the situation for you, Aquarius, but not just you in particular, but just anyone, why they have terrible time when it comes to dating a lot of the times, is because they ignore the real issues that the person has. Everyone has baggage, but are these people actually working through the baggage and, and learning to throw some baggage away is the question. And if the person is looking to keep the baggage and is even willing to give you problems or a fight on your hands to keep the baggage or add more baggage on top of what they already have, those are signs that you shouldn't be with a person because the only thing that they can do is bring you Aquarius down, not raise you Aquarius up. So why that's important in the first place is because the magician speaks to how you Aquarius need to not let the person know that that's what it is that you're looking at them for. And if you, and if you see that they're just weird, then all you need to do is just stay away from them. So let's clarify the magician. You have the Nine of Cups, the Five of uh, Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, and then you have the Nine of Wands, which is the Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles right here, right? To clarify, the magician is... You just move forward if you find out that the person is a total weirdo. That's all it is that you really have to do. And then the five of pentacles is about because when a person shows you that you and them are not compatible, or if they turn out to be a total nutcase, 
then there's really there's really nothing that you Aquarius can ultimately do. The only thing that you can do is to really leave them alone. The Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands here for you Aquarius speaks to how so um, because of this, the Wheel of Fortune speaks to you just want to learn from your mistakes. And the best way to know that you've learned from your mistakes is to be able to understand when something is a real tell that they're going to get worse over time or if they're going to get better over, over time. And the best way to do that is to listen to what they have to say and watch what it is that they do and see the see the direction of where the relationship is going. If the relationship is turning out uh, great, wonderful. You know, it means that the two of you are compatible in that sense. It's not just you wasting your time. But if it takes a serious left turn, then you Aquarius know that you have to get away from them. And then the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands right here speaks to how that's ultimately a situation where for you, the uh, the Three of Pentacles is that um, friends as well that you can trust, that you, you know, you know that you can trust what it is that they have to say because they're in successful relationships or these are people who are healed who can pretty much give you a level of understanding yourself, right? So to, to get you Aquarius to understand that you're not just by yourself, you actually do have other people in your corner who know what um, you're talking about and they're actually trying to give you clues as to what it is that you should be looking out for. Now, obviously, if it gets confusing, then you wanna really essentially start consulting your friends. But if it's not really confusing as to who this person is, then you can pretty much make the judgment call for yourself. And then you have the Nine of Wands right here. And so, the Nine of Wands ultimately represents you, Aquarius, um, um, needing to heal your own baggage as it is that you, Aquarius, are getting to know this brand new person. Because the last thing that you, Aquarius, want to do right now, especially at a time like this, where you're just now meeting brand new people, is to run them off because... All it is that you Aquarius can do is bring issues to them, right? You don't want to be that type of zodiac sign that starts bringing issues to other people, right? You want to be a zodiac sign or, or some people that is enticing, that's bringing a lot of people in, that's, make, that's attracting and bringing in a lot of other people because they see your value, they see your potential, and they actually want you to be around them.